My name is Ira Smith, president of Ira Smith Trustee and Receiver Inc. First, the Ira Smith Trustee and Receiver Inc. team hopes that you and your entire family are safe, healthy, and secure during this ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Ira Smith Trustee and Receiver Inc. is fully operational. Both Brandon Smith and myself are holding all meetings by telephone or video meeting. So if you have any questions at all about this Brandon's blog or anything else at all, feel free to shoot us a message, give us a phone call. We would love to hear from you. Today's Brandon's blog is titled Bankruptcy Filings Canada, the senseless top 12 mistakes to avoid when considering filing for bankruptcy. Brandon has put together a discussion on the top 12 mistakes we have seen people make over the years. So I hope you can read the entire blog below and I hope you can stay until the end of this video because I know you will get value from it. So Brandon goes through the top 12 mistakes we have seen people make when they are considering filing for bankruptcy. He provides a full discussion in the blog below, but I will just go over the 12 points. The first one is a debtor trying to hide assets, leaving assets off of their sworn statement of affairs, transferring assets, to relatives or friends just before filing for bankruptcy, it's not a good thing to do. You will get found out. The second mistake, incurring additional debts, like maxing out credit cards before filing for bankruptcy. The third mistake, repaying relatives, friends, or other close associates preferring those creditors over others. The next mistake is waiting too long to consult with a licensed insolvency trustee. The sooner you start your consultation process, the more flexibility, the more options you have. The later you leave it until your back is up against the wall and you're facing a deadline, many times you don't have any options at all other than bankruptcy. And bankruptcy may not be the best option for you. The next mistake Brandon discusses is taking extra income tax out of your paycheck just before you go bankrupt. The next mistake, cashing in or making early withdrawals from a retirement account such as your RRSP. Next mistake, turning certain unsecured debt into secured debt. And the secured debt cannot be wiped away by bankruptcy or any other insolvency proceeding unless you're willing to give up the asset that that secured debt relates to not sufficiently exploring self-help options is a mistake people make. They put their head in the sand until they don't have any self-help options available and then it is too late. Whereas if they address the issues early on, perhaps they could have avoided an insolvency filing altogether. And the last mistake Brandon discusses is making the wrong type of filing. So again, I invite you to read the entire blog because it goes through a discussion of all the top mistakes, why they're mistakes and how to avoid them. I know you will get value from the blog below. Again, Ira Smith Trustee and Receiver Inc. is fully operational. 
If you have any questions at all about this blog or anything else at all, shoot either Brandon or myself an email, give us a phone call. We would love to hear from you. Again, the Ira Smith team hopes that you and your family is remaining safe, healthy, and secure during this coronavirus pandemic.